Hi everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda Rose Tarot and I'm back here again today to do another pick a card reading for you. Um, this is going to be a themed reading. So we are going to be um, asking what do they want to tell you? Okay, so um, you know, think of a person and you know, something that you feel like maybe um, you know, they might be hiding from you or, um, you know, something you want to know, you know, about a person that you're dealing with or have dealt with in the past. So um, it can be anyone. You can pick three different people if you'd like. Um, but what do they want to tell you? So that's what we want to find out today. Um, so it's going to be love, soulmate, twin flames, um, whatever, you know, you've come here for. Um, so first off, I want to get a little bit of housekeeping out of the way. Um, this month, I'm doing a special on my personal readings. So if you want a love reading, a five-card reading, um, the special is $14.99. Normally, um, it's $25 for a five-card love reading, but this month... Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna have a special of $14.99. So, um, just email me at amandarosetarot at hotmail.com and, um, I'll just have to ask you a few questions and I will get that out to you. Um, it will be within 24 hours you will have that reading. Um, so I just wanted to let everybody know that. Also, um, I have a link down below for my Avon store. Um, if you purchase from me $25 or more, I will enter you into a drawing for a free gift. I will be drawing that, um, that person's name at the end of October. Um, so you have plenty of time to get your order in. If you do make more than one order by October 31st, I can put your name in there a couple times so you have a better chance of winning um, if you order from me more than once. Um, so um, there's that. And um, that's all I can think of right now. So let's get on with the reading, um, what they want to tell you. So let me show you your three choices here. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see those three piles. We've got the turquoise here. We've got the amethyst here and we've got the crystal ball here. Um, the decks that I am using today are the Gypsy Fortune cards, the Marcellus deck, the Rider Waite deck, um, the Gypsy Playing cards, and the Romance Angel cards. If you're interested in purchasing any of those decks, I will have a link down below um, where you can purchase them. So I'm just going to be quiet for a second and let you pick a deck or a stone and then I will begin. Okay, so we're going to start over here with the turquoise, and I will show you your first four cards, and then I will do the oracle card last. So in the Gypsy Fortune, you guys got the lilies. In the Marcellus deck, you guys got the Ten of Wands upright. You can see my little pen mark. You guys got the Emperor. Could be an Aries. And you guys got the Sweetheart card in the Gypsy Plane cards. Okay, so first let's go over the Lily. So I feel like with this card, um, you know, this person is going through a, um, you know, a death and a rebirth. Because um, the Lilies signify spring, and spring is a time where you know, there's rebirth. So they're going through a change right now. Um, you know, they, they've they had some trials in their life and now they're having another chance to start over. Um, you know, th it may be that you have some high standards um, with the lilies here, um, you know, and, and they're changing. They're, they're starting over and... Um, you know, everyone gets judged for their actions at a later date. And I think they're starting to realize that, um, you know, this is the rebirth within them. 
Um, it could be, you know, you realize that, that, you know, at the end of your life, you're going to be judged for your actions. Um, so maybe you are also going through this transformation. It could just be, um, you know, you guys both are going through this, um, you know, rebirth. It's not a bad thing. This is a good card. And you guys got the sweetheart. So, you know, they want to tell you that they love you. Um, they think, you know, you're their babe, they're their baby, you know, they're sweetie. Um, they feel all of those things towards you. Um, you know, they, they feel, they still feel that towards you. If you guys were together and now you're separated, um, they want to tell you they still love you. Definitely. Um, and you guys get the emperor. Like I said, it could be Aries. Um, but this is a person with a lot of authority. Um, you know, they, they're able to accomplish goals. They have a lot of um, mental activity, mental energy. Um, they want balance. Um, they want to take action. They are a fatherly person. Um, this is someone that you can trust. Um, they're very kind, they're very wise, um, and I think, you know, they are changing. They're going through a rebirth, um, period right now, and, um, you know, they, they might have a big ego, um, with the emperor here, and, and they have a hard time, um, you know, expressing that. And you guys got the Ten of Wands. So, you know, they do have a lot of burdens. It could be, you know, um, you know, that they, they do have kind of an ego here. And, you know, they, they're having a difficult time expressing themselves. Um, they, they want to win your love. Um, you know, they, they want to win and they'll, you know, it's, it's, they have this fear of losing you. Um, you know, they're, they're overwhelmed with, um, a desire to succeed, but there's a lot of problems that they're having, um, you know, expressing themselves. They're, um, they're overworking, they're, um, they're overwhelmed by all their feelings, their desires, and they're six, um, you know, they, they want to succeed, but, um, I feel like they they have a problem talking about it, you know, and they have a problem delegating, um, you know, things out. And they're burdened by the connection that you guys have, if, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so with these cards, I think, what did they want to tell you? They want to tell you that they're changing you know, they're not the same person that they were, um, you know, they, they are kind, um, they are smart, um, they're just burdened by, you know, they want to win you over, and they're afraid that they're going to lose you, they, they do love you a lot here, okay, so, not bad, let's look at your romance angel card to finish off your reading, you deserve love. You are lovable. So they, they want to tell you that you deserve this love. Um, you know, maybe you've had a harsh life and you've blamed yourself. You felt unworthy. Um, you know, but you deserve this love and affection. And they want to tell you that. That, you know, they know that you've been through a lot in your life. And you blame yourself and you feel unworthy of love. But, you know, they do love you, and, and they do want to tell you, okay? So that's what I feel like they want to tell you. Okay, very good reading. Let's move on to the second. If you pick the amethyst, let's look at your cards. Okay, and the gypsy fortune cards, you've got the letter in the... Marcellus deck, you guys got La Justice. So this is the Justice card. In the Rider Waite, you guys got the Nine of Swords. And in the Gypsy Playing cards, you guys got the Thief. Okay. So this is kind of a hard one. 
Um, so first let's go over the letter. So I feel like um, they're going to be contacting you very soon. Um, so watch out for some news coming in. It could come in very swiftly. Um, don't get too caught up in thinking about it. Um, you need to carry on with your life. But be aware that something unexpected and something swift might come in from this person. Could be a letter, it could be an email, it could be a text message, it could be a call. Um, but it's going to come in. Whether it's good or it's bad, it's coming. Okay. And you guys got the thief card. So I feel like this person, um, you know, they stole like a piece of you. They stole like your peace of mind. Um, you know, they could have cheated you. They could have swindled you. Um, they could have even stolen from you financially. Um, they could have been asking for money a lot from you or, um, you know, borrowing things from you and um, not giving them back. Um, you know, or it could be like, um, you know, they feel like someone has stolen you from them, that they've lost you. Someone has stolen you away from them. And, you know, that's, that's why they're going through this, um, you know, this mental anxiety. Um, they're anxious. They're lonely. They're losing sleep. Their thoughts are driving them crazy. Um, they're having a lot of suffering right now. And it's over the separation that you guys have. Um, they could feel like, um, you know, someone has stolen you away from them. Um, you know, and it's causing them a lot of sleepless nights. Um, and anxiety and pain. And they can't stop thinking about it and rehashing it in their mind. That's what I feel. And the justice card. So I feel like, um, you know, they, they're going through a lot right now. Um, they need balance because they're losing sleep and their thoughts are driving them crazy. So they do need to balance that out. Um, they could be too stubborn right now to talk to you and, um, you know, they're, if they did steal from you, um, you know, physically, it they're they're greedy and they're gonna pay for that because we all, in the end, you know, we have to face, um, you know, judgment. We have to be judged for our actions, and they could be going through something kind of karmic right now um, for the actions that they've um, done in the past. So if they did steal something from you or um, something like that, they swindled you somehow. Um, they may be going through something right now, um, which is karmic, you know, they're paying for what they've done, they were too greedy, and, and, and now, um, you know, something's come in to balance it out, um, karma's come in to balance it out, and, um, yeah, that's what I feel. It doesn't sound good, but that's what I feel. But with these cards, what do they want to tell you? I think they're going to tell you very soon with the letter card here. I think they they want to tell you that they've been suffering without you and um, they're sorry for, you know, what they've done. Um, you know, this is them being in bed, crying about what they've done. They feel very sorry about what they've done, um, you know, and, and karma's, karma's kind, kind of come in and caused something painful in their life, unfortunately. Um, but I feel like you're going to hear from them very soon, okay? Let's look at your Romance Angel card. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like you guys still need to talk, um, you know, about your feelings, your desires, your dreams. You need to discover what you guys have in common. Um, you need to have this deep conversation so you can heal. Um, 
this pain that either you or them is feeling, um, you know, they've been stuffing down their feelings and um, they, they need to gain the strength to admit the way they feel about you, their emotions that they're feeling. Um, I feel like you guys are going to have this honest conversation because you guys got the letter. So I feel like very soon they're going to come in and you guys are going to have this deep conversation about what you really want, what you desire, and admit your feelings for each other. Okay, so that was the second reading. Let's move on to the third, the crystal ball. Okay, in the gypsy fortune cards, you guys got the queen. In the Marcellus deck, you guys got the chariot, but it's in reverse. In the Rider Weight deck, you guys got the Eight of Pentacles. And in the Gypsy Playing Cards, you guys got Merriment. Okay, so let's far start first with the Queen in the Gypsy Playing Cards. So um, they think that you would be a good spouse. They think that you, if you're a parent, they think that you know, you're a good parent or you would be a good parent. They think that you are a good listener. They think that you are very nurturing. Um, they know that you're able to feel a full range of emotions from grief and sorrow to joy and love. Um, you're a very good friend. You're helpful. Um, you know, you bring them a lot of comfort. Um, they... They want to hug you when they see you. Um, they they want to propose to you. Um, they see you as a teacher, and they're very very interested in you. They want to get to know you better. They um, you know they they think you're marriage material definitely with this card and the merriment card. So they love being around you. They have a good time when you guys go out. Um, you know, you guys laugh together, you have joy, you have pleasure, um, wherever you guys go, you end up having a really good time together, which is really good. And you guys got the eight of pentacles. So I feel like they're learning a lot of new skills right now. They're persevering in their work and it's bringing them in money. So they've been working very hard. They're earning money. Um, they're gaining confidence. They're working on their self-esteem. Um, they want to create a new image and a new ego for themselves. They have new ambitions and they really have new doors opening for them. So um, as far as financially, um, this person, they're, they're working really hard and building, um, you know, a new image for themselves. And the chariot reversed. So this person could have an addiction. Um, you know, they're burying their head in the sand. They're using drinking as a way to dull their senses and to forget about the connection that you guys have. Um, they're, they're having trouble gaining this confidence. Um, you know, they're doing good in work, but I feel like um, as far as their relationship they're kind of burying their head in the sand they don't want to deal with it they're having a negative attitude about love um and moving forward they're um they're just having a really hard time right now um with everything you know except for financially they're doing good financially definitely so with these cards, um, what do they want to tell you? They want to tell you that you're their queen or vice versa if this is a man. Um, you know, that you are marriage material. That's what they want to tell you. And they have a great time when they are around you. Um, they're really working hard on themselves and their ego and their image. And they're trying to make their image better. Um, but they could have problems and they're, 
they might be drinking a lot or, um, you know, they're finding ways to dull their senses so they can forget about, um, you know, their feelings for you. Or they're working too. They're working and they're drinking and they're just trying not to focus on the connection that they had with you um, is how I feel. So let's look at your romance angel card. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So, you know, if even if they are trying to um, drink you out of their mind, they're not going to be able to because this love is of a divine nature. It's true love. You know, the, the angels have brought you guys together. This relationship is of a divine nature. So they are going to have to overcome um, and express their feelings. Um, you know, they need to have this honest conversation with you and, you know, if they can overcome that, then, and tell you about their love, I think that this will be good, very, very good, because the angels are bringing you guys together. So, you know, they just have to overcome some things, negative attitudes that they're having, and, um, you know, have an honest conversation and be compassionate towards each other and, you know, love each other, okay? So that's what I feel with these readings. I hope you guys like them. Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell beside it so that you'll get notified um, next time I have a reading coming out. So thank you guys for coming and I love you guys so much and I hope the best for all of you guys. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.